appreciate joining me now to talk about that. Dr. Judy Ho, a clinical psychologist. Judy, great to see you. Uh, when you first, before we get into that relationship, when you first heard of Debbie Reynolds passing one day after her daughter, what did you think? Well, Lynn, you know, one of the first things I thought is this idea of will to live. Mm -hmm. Will to live is a psychological concept. It's been used both anecdotally and also studied in research to explain why some people make it through what seems to be a terminal illness and why certain people don't make it through or seem to sort of pass away after perhaps family members or husbands or wives have passed away. And I think that that's a really big factor here because what we know about this idea of will to live is that it really does connect with physical functioning. And so we know from all of the news that have broken out that there was a stroke that was suffered, but she didn't seem to have a lot of pre-existing illnesses that she was managing. And so oftentimes we talk about this will to live as a concept and this idea of hope. Mm -hmm. And it appears that Debbie Reynolds may have lost hope about her life after seeing her daughter pass away. And that's just against nature. You know, no mother wants to mourn their child before, you know, that's just really not the, the concept of what we think about life's progression. And so mm -hmm. I think that that was a real shock to her. And as you mentioned, this complicated relationship yet really strong bond was perhaps one of the most defining factors here of why she passed away just a day after her daughter did. And, you know, I guess that answers my next question, which was, is there really any medical evidence behind the theory of dying of a broken heart? And it's really more losing your will to live, and that can really physically affect your body. But we talk about this relationship, and I think there could be a lot of people at home that are estranged from their mother, estranged from their father, especially around the holidays we think about these things. And you say, you look at the two of them and how they were estranged for so long, Carrie even saying she wished that Debbie Reynolds wasn't her mother, yet when they came back together and they resolved their conflicts, they became greater than the relationship was in the beginning. What do you think that says to people out there that may be experiencing something similar? Well, I think this is a really great point, Lynn, and people have complicated relationships, parents mm -hmm. with their children, and one of the things that I think is really great about this is that they actually work through it. I think oftentimes people will ignore the issue, they'll just stay estranged, but the fact that they actually work through it and talked about it means that they actually process this information, and sometimes that strengthens the bond even more because it's a real true connection as opposed to one where you just get together for the holidays, but there's sort of this under lying current that hasn't been dealt with. And it seems like they really dealt with their relationship, kind of opened it all up, closed it back up. And so that bond is probably much stronger than one where you have these sort of more get togethers around the holidays, mm -hmm. but you don't really talk about some of the serious issues. It certainly seems the case in this situation. And maybe it will make people think about what they're in and whether or not they can take that situation and grow that relationship. Judy Ho, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it.